You know, some might think not charging your batteries for your saw is a bad thing over the weekend. I call it saving business expenses. What is up? Uh, today, this cherry tree, we're topping it. Um, the thing's dead. This is a super cool customer. Uh, actually, yeah, I removed that maple tree. Um, it's uh, like titled Verticillium Wilt or something like that. I'll, but um, the cherry tree is completely dead. You know, it's, uh, woodpeckers have been eating at it. Squirrels live in it, um, and it's just a hazard. But the homeowners wanna wanna keep something for uh, the squirrels and woodpeckers to gnaw at. So that's why we're topping it. Just gonna get that down to right about there, and get this side, get that down to right about there, and get this side down to that union. So yeah, it should be fun. We got some small trimmings around this property too, but. This might be the majority of the video. So cool, if you like this sort of stuff, leave a like and subscribe. All right. Yeah, this thing's pretty well toast. That's pretty. Uh. Really don't want to ride this thing. It's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. So yeah, these dead trees can be pretty scary. <laughs> you just take them slow and you feel it out. You gotta think, like, even though the wind's picking up, this thing has gone through two recent storms where the wind was a lot higher than that. So that brings me some comfort. <laughs> oh, a lot higher than it is right now. Um, but yeah gonna get through it. spent the time to make a better tie-in but I didn't and here we are <laughs> I'll learn one day so I mentioned to Darren we're gonna take two big tops I was thinking about cutting right here 
and we still have quite a bit of it over my head. Um, the thing is with that is with all that decay, uh, you're putting a lot of force, a lot of forces there. So it's actually smarter to take smaller tops because I'm gonna have to rig these out. These are directly over that shed. So it's smarter to take smaller tops. Um, you know, I'm gonna go about five, six foot up and just do that. Uh, and just try to avoid, that thing's not gonna break out, but just try to avoid, like put as little forces on that union as much as possible. So we're getting there, almost done with this side. I think we go higher. Ah, whatever. We're gonna send this one. So, he's really got to let this run. <laughs> you know, it's very important to uh, keep as much force off that yin, yin as possible. Once we get this out, um, I mean, we're in good shape right now. I've got a lot of weight out, but this limb probably weighs as much as me. So, here we go. All right, you ready? Oh, boy. Smoking it. Good work. That's perfect. All right. Ready? Not sure. I think it fell on itself. Yeah, I think what happened is we dumped it right into the rope, the running end of the rope, and that kind of slowed it down. Oh, good. All right, last one coming down. That's my second fence. <laughs> yeah, did you? Oh. God dang it. Tree removal and fence repair. All right, got it cleaned up. Gonna have to fix a fence, but we're over heading on over to this side. We were over there, now we're over here. We're gonna leave that for the birds and squirrels to pick on and stuff.
I missed those tops, but we just speared it. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right, second habitat stub, whatever they're called. Had a couple instances. I can't wait to go down and look at that, but whatever. It's been, <laughs> it kind of hurts because it's been a, it's been a while since uh, I had, I broke a fence last week and uh, I just broke a fence today, obviously, whatever. Maybe feeling a little, bur little bit of burnout climbing, but we'll get through it. We'll go fix that thing and uh, be on to the next job. <laughs> well, not my prettiest performance, but everything made it except for the fence. <laughs> Good thing, you know, we can upcharge to fix it now. I'm kidding. So if you uh, enjoy this sort of stuff, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Sweet. Bye.